State Senator John Cook has asked Colorado Attorney General Cynthia Kaufman to investigate an alleged trip Governor John Hickenlooper made to Tesla headquarters earlier this year. The governor's office said the trip never happened, but Cook claims that, that soon after the trip, Hickenlooper ordered the state to adopt low emission vehicle standards by 2025. Ed, uh, whether the trip happened or not and that investigation side of things seems to be the headline grabber, but not the real issue. The low vehicle emission, low emission vehicle standards do seem to be the headline. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. And in fact, I think while Cook is saying this now um, and there's a lot of dispute around it, I think what he said uh, a couple of weeks ago was more important. And that is, he said, look, we think that this is subverting the legislative process. You're asking an unelected body uh, to not only put into uh, law these very important standards, standards that would go into effect for all cars, all new cars sold in Colorado at the start of the year 2022 would likely raise vehicle costs, uh, not almost likely, would definitely raise them, um, and uh, and would affect the kind of cars that people can can buy new here. Um, but, uh, but, but he just basically said, this is something that's going to tie us to California, which is true. We're not adopting standards that are like California's. This would actually adopt California standards, as about a dozen other states have done. Uh, the questions around the policy are great ones. I mean, are we willing to pay more for our cars in order to cut down emissions? You know, we, we've seen both environmentalists and some industry groups like the skiing industry and the outdoor rec industry coming out for this. Uh, or do, do we not want to be governed by California, essentially? And do we want to continue in a state that 70 percent of new vehicles are trucks, SUVs and other light duty vehicles uh, to, to kind of set our own standards um, but uh, but make it make it clear this is going to be a big policy that we're going to be seeing very soon here I completely agree I remember shopping <clears throat> for an SUV and uh, Toyota stopped making a V6 they make only make an SUV the RAV4 and a V4 that doesn't sound like a big deal until you try to go up Eisenhower a couple times in a little <laughs> little four banger you want a V6 and that's not you know polluting I'm not uh, not uh, uh, driving some diesel truck with big clouds of smoke behind me but I get it that's a real issue for Coloradans Krista, do you smell shenanigans? You know, it does seem a little shenanigan-y um, from this sense. Is, and, it, it, you know, the, the whole Cook, Hickenlooper thing, I think that's just a sort of a political ploy. John Cook's a fantastic legislator, but I, who knows how that will resolve. But these, these new standards, it seems to me that if you want to have a car that has low standards or low, low emissions, if you want an electric car, they're available. Go buy one. If it's something that you care about, if, if, if climate change is a, is a big issue in your life and you're really concerned about it, put your money where your heart is and go buy, go buy a Tesla. But don't force that on other people. We, and we don't need to be California, California East. We can be our own state and let our own people, our own people choose what they want to do with their life, their cars and their transportation. Patty, John Hickenberg doesn't seem to be the type of guy that would be swayed by a nice jet ride, but I do not know him like you do. What do you think? Oh, I don't think he'd be swayed by a nice jet ride. But at this moment, I'd like to point out that Elon Musk, who does not need our money, um, ripped off a local artist for a design, and it's time for mm -hmm. him to pay up Tom mm -hmm. Edwards. But aside from that, uh, Hickenlooper had come out maybe after a, tra a plane ride, but I think he would have done this on his own anyway, with the suggestion, an executive order, suggesting that this uh, lower emission for, um, be adapted. And Interestingly, although Colorado doesn't want to be like California, we are always talking about the Californication of Colorado. I think we will see something pass out today, and then I think we will see endless fights about it because it's also true that Coloradans are very independent. Look at the unaffiliated voters, and they like their trucks and they like their cars, and especially they don't want to be California. So we're going to hear a lot of discussion about this. They also want to do something about climate change, and it's time for that discussion. David, Senator Cook is a former sheriff of Weld County. He doesn't seem the type of guy that would operate in hyperbole. Uh, this is a pretty serious claim. What are your thoughts? I, I agree with that, and he's a, a sober and serious person, so we'll, we'll see where the, the facts on that lead. But what, what we know for sure is uh, our Colorado Constitution says the people of Colorado have the sole and exclusive right of governing themselves, and John Hickenlooper has flagrantly violated that and given California, the bureaucrats, the sole and exclusive right of governing what cars people in Colorado are going to buy. Colorado is not California. It's not suitable for that. We don't, this isn't something where you can take your electric car and drive a half mile so you can go get your avocado toast somewhere in the Bay Area. People have to drive up mountains under difficult conditions. They choose trucks because those are the safest and best cars 
for those conditions, and they choose cars with powerful engines that can handle those ch Colorado conditions, which are much, much more difficult than, than California driving. So the governor, for his moral preening and virtue signaling for his 2020, for his presidential run, is significantly endangering the lives of Coloradans by putting them in cars that are less safe. And, of like, course, transferring money from the uh, pickup truck class of people to the Tesla class of people. 